Welcome back to On the r- r- Ranch. Yeah. Welcome back to On the Ranch. We've only been doing We're this We're going to be raising some cattle today. <laughs> All right, guys. This is how you raise your cows to produce the best possible milk. Uh, first of all, you don't let any black cows make milk. Whoa. <laughs> I, th- I thought black see, cows made chocolate milk. See, see. <laughs> I love chocolate milk. See, see what I did there? Because you wanted to tell your story? I, yeah. I introduced you know, my, the subject. My oh-so-fun... <laughs> you got called customers. a racist for the first time in your life, period? For the first time in my life. Like, like ever, not just ever. In, a, in a customer service. Not just in a customer service standpoint. And, and how first old are you? I am... 28. Wow. I think I was called a racist by 28 months old, I'm sure. 28 months? Yeah, I mean, I... Well, for, to be fair, my parents are, like, a little racist. To be fair, my mom. Well, John, have you met my grandparents? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, have we told that story? Have we... Have we told some of those stories about I, your grandparents? I think we told, have we told the, the, the like, grandpa story with the, Adam. Yeah, and, yeah, about Jewish people. We, we did talk about how he's anti-Semitic. Did, did you talk about their racism? Before you tell your story, uh, do, do you have anything specific, or is it just general vibes? Just va- general vibes and the whole I don't shake hands with Jews thing. and It's just like, really, grandpa? Really? Okay. You, you got to do that right in front of my friends, you know, to his parents? God damn it. I, I think my mom especially grew up a little racist because she was just around it and it was socially it was the social norm, norm so she yeah. never questioned it. Like she grew up in rural Idaho where there just aren't people of other races. Where it's like, white people and kind. white people and yeah. more white people. Right. Because they're the only ones that moved there. <laughs> After we wiped out the Native American people. <laughs> yeah. Because I mean there there's family property where they find arrowheads and stuff. And my mom actually pointed this out to me. Like, that means those people lived there. Like, they lived lived there. there. Like, we literally kicked them out of... Like, maybe these weren't their homes. But the reason the land was so good for tilling and stuff is because somebody was already doing it, you know, just 100 years earlier. Or less in some cases. Yeah. How do I... Oh, sure. (laughs) But, uh, yeah. So, at work, I was called a racist. Um... Because I wouldn't serve someone something. No, you wouldn't sell someone something. Yeah. Uh, basically, a lady came into work, and she's like, okay, I want to buy this. And it was a really odd order, because, you know, you get most people are like, I want this coffee, but can I get this with it? And it's like, okay, that's reasonable. Yeah, that's what Starbucks is for, is for weird orders. Yeah, but I mean, it's like, you know, okay, I'm going to change it up. I want to get it with this in it, too. But it's like, okay, this lady came in. I want... An iced venti soy milk. No ice or anything. I just want a giant fucking thing of soy milk. She didn't say it that way. She was just like, you know, I just want all soy milk. It's like, okay. You know, whatever. Fine. Fair. And I want four tea bags. Okay, well, I have the retail tea bags over there because I, I'm i pretty sure I can't sell you the tea bags that I have back here just on their own like that because we can add tea bags to when you're buying a tea for 20 cents. And that's what she wanted. Basically, she was trying to game the system to buy tea bags on the cheap. Because you get like 12 retail tea bags in the retail box for like 10 bucks or something. In the space colony John? Uh, I'm, I'm totally paying attention. Mm-hmm. What? What is that noise? That, that was his uh, microwave. I, I thought done. like something, something horrible happened on the capture computer or something. No, that's, that's the dream ca- <laughs> That's the, the game. Yeah, no, no, the Dreamcast is that, that fucking DJ scratching the disc there. Apparently we're getting news from Britain, by the way. Um, which Federal Reserve Bank? I, what's going on where? I don't know. We're, we're in, in Egypt, Egypt, right? We have a British reporter and the Federal Bank. And that's clearly Sonic. And it's Dream the News. The Blue Hedgehog. Dream News. Destroying the reserves, God robots in his path. Stay tuned for more details. Yeah, you don't say, considering they showed him. Right? Is, is everyone just racist against hedgehogs? I I mean, have we discovered that? We've discussed that, right? Probably. Everyone here is racist against hedgehogs? What, I think what so. What was that weird flash? That was supposed to be like uh, a lens flare? Oh, okay. Do do we need to pay attention during this scene? Uh, 
That depends on how much you want to try to understand what oh. the fuck is going on here. Oh, there's a there's an adorable girl. She's blonde haired and blue eyed, so I therefore identify with her. I'm, Do it for I'm me. Su- I'm supposed to develop an emotional connection. He doesn't fall in love with her, does he? Uh, she's dead. Oh, she she's, she dies. She's dead. Like, like oh, totally dead. Whoosh. I'm going to fucking capsule drop you to the fucking planet. You'll live somehow, by the way. But uh, do it for me. Well, maybe the capsule can re- withstand reentry. It did look like an escape sort of deal. Yeah. Anyway, um, so I was telling her, yeah, I'm pretty sure that I can't tell you this. I mean, I'll check with my manager when they are in next, but this... Basically, I was telling her, this is a hella sketch fucking transaction. And 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 you could tell she was trying to game you. Yeah, because it's like, you don't ask for weird shit like that. I mean, we get, like, the really fringe orders that's like, I want a shit ton of fucking uh, soy milk in there, just because it's like, well, you wanna, you're paying the extra money for the soy milk, so I understand you wanting to get your fucking money out of it. Also, I'm trying to pay attention for... Oh, is there a special thing here? I don't think I can... No, I can't go across there yet. Oh, okay. You, you need to... I, I just remember that there are things that happen, so it's like, can I do that yet? Because, yeah, I remember this game that So, old la- is this an old lady? No, she was a young lady. Like, she was, like, maybe in her 30s. Okay, so around our age. Yeah, well... Maybe she, a few years older than you. Like, I would probably place her... In 25 to 35, if I had to give a good, like, 10-year range. Okay. And... Okay, what was the point of that? Uh, Whatever, keep on keep on going the story. We're going fast. <laughs> Go fast through your story. Speed run through it. Speed run... Uh, okay. So, she, she, she fucking leaves. I sell her the, the milk and whatever fucking food thing that she wanted, and she up and leaves. You know, after she gave me shit about, like, oh, well... They do this for me all the time, the other people here and and in the parking lot. I'm like, well, I'm sorry, but as far as I'm aware, I cannot sell that to you like that. It, you know, it doesn't, it's, we're not, we, as far as I understand, we're not supposed to. I will check for you, though, next time I have someone that I can check for. Uh, I get away with a scam all the time is the funniest thing to hear from a customer. Yeah, basically. And she's like, yeah, I come here all the time, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, fine, okay, whatever. I'm a regular the, the yeah, the, I, the I'm a regular of, cry. The 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 cry of someone about to do something shady as fuck. Yeah, exactly. And expect you to just take it. And uh, by the way, she paid me in cash. You know, not her Starbucks card. That the card that she would have used if she was a quote regular. Because and I even kind of brought to her attention as kind of like that that like ass moment of like, oh, you're not using your Starbucks card today? No, I don't feel like it. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, yeah, you're totally doing something fucking sketchy, bitch. And for tea bags, for tea bags, for you know something you could get at Costco for a few bucks. Yeah, but I want the Starbucks ones. Oh fuck! I I oh, oh, right into the pit, right into the bye bye shadow. Uh oh, we're all the way back here. Wonderful. Uh, so yeah, so she leaves, and I'm. This is like a hell of fucking busy morning for no particular reason. I got like six people deep, and I'm all alone in the morning. And it's like. Whatever, I'm just trying to get through people. I'm not paying but any attention. But, by the way, the people that do that sort of thing wait until you're busy. That's why they... That's part of their, their shtick. They just want you to wave them through, you know? Yeah, because, you know... They, they look for when you're busy. Uh, uh, yeah, just just never did, mind that. Did you... You just got crushed, though, right? No. Okay. I, uh... Did you make it through? Are you where you want to yeah. be? Yeah. Sort of. There was an air draft. <laughs> it's it's okay. This is Sonic World. So she came back, right? So she came back while I was in the middle of still dealing with a bunch of people. By the way, that was a huge ass plane. The road is closed ahead. You can't go there. Yes, I can. And uh, she's like, "Oh, by the way, they sold it to me at the other Starbucks." Uh, so, blah, 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 da, 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 da. oh, you wouldn't sell it to me because I'm black. Wow. I was like stunned. I was just like, "Excuse me." Did you say excuse me? Yeah. <laughs> well, you had more presence of mind than I do. Okay. I'm like, when, when I, I get I that kind of like, what? Levied. And she's like, yeah, you're a racist, and you're fat, and you need to lose weight, you fat fucking racist. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I was just like, and the people that were in line, they could see how fucking dumbstruck by this lady I was. 
And I, I at least had enough presence of mind to do the proper retail thing and not, like, fucking freak out on her. Uh-huh. Because she was clearly, you know, trying to set me off to basically get me in trouble and try to get me fired over fucking tea bags. Uh-huh. Or she was just going off and, like, that's, that's in her no, mind. No, no, no. She, she clearly had some kind of agenda where she was trying to, like, get oh. me report to some sort of manager for, oh, well... Yeah, clearly. Look, this is what they how they react. Yeah, you get you got that sense. Like you get that sixth sense sometimes when someone's trying to like lead a conversation to get you in trouble. Like like they've got a tape recorder in their brain, like ready to use Ow. anything you can say. Like Against you feel like you. you need your Miranda rights read. Yeah, right. <laughs> but um, yeah. So, but once she pulled the race car, the only thing I said was, "I'm sorry you feel that way." Ooh. Until she left the store. I'm sorry you feel that way is, like, the the ultimate non-apology. Because why do I have to apologize for her claiming that I'm a racist? Because I, she's being a fucking bitch and trying to game the fucking system. I, I'm not disagreeing with you. I think you are totally correct. And I, I just... It blows me away you've gone this long in your life without being told you did blank because you hate me for my race. But, John, I own a PSP. Yeah, well... <laughs> <laughs> and when you told me the story the first time, wait, do we need to pay attention? Uh, we've actually seen this before, but I don't know if you remember it. I, I remember everything, remember? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I had that you, flashback You have, you have the memory of, like, me. <laughs> no, th this one actually, I think, shows a little bit more in depth of, like, what he does to Chaos Control. So you're like, whoa. The, the other thing with doing this game, by the way, is playing the two stories, like, side by side. Mm-hmm. Oh, like some people play them in in chronological order. Yeah, like going switching from dark to hero to dark to hero, like so that you're doing whatever is active at the time. Huh. I, I bet somebody. I bet there are like things online, like lists where people argue what's the proper chronological order of every level, and like they make their list. You got to play that the game. In By this the way, order. that that audio segue. If you heard that in game, it cut the line and immediately started the other one. Oh. And, and it's one of those things that I've always noticed, but it's just like, I notice it more now that I do editing. It's like, wow, that's fucking terrible. Well, I mean, it is a Sonic game. Yeah. <laughs> it's so sad. Uh, it just, how, I, I don't know how to describe it. Son Sonic games are like, every one of them is a disappointment. Like, you can see like the core of a good game in every one of them. And then you have to like, sit and wonder... Where did it all go wrong? Did it all go wrong at the start? Was it at the end? Was... Hang on, hang on. We're, we're talking we're, to my we're bae. We're infiltrating the key. Okay, okay, she's not talking anymore. You have to be quiet when she speaks, okay? <laughs> what, the fuck? what the fuck is your problem, dude? But, yeah, did, did the developers work on this game for a year? Like, thinking, oh, this is going to be a great game. It's going to be the best. Or did they go into work every day for the entire development cycle knowing it was going to be, like... Utter shit. And, and granted, I'm not talking about this one because this is not the worst Sonic game. That's called either 06 or Sonic Boom, right? Uh, but, yeah, something like that. Yeah. But I, I guess my... You, you know, it's in Sonic Boom, did they know that it was going to be a bad game? Or was it just because they rushed development? Like, at the very end, they said, oh, you got to release the game in a month. And they're like... Uh, but the game's only half done. Like, we're still in, in early care. alpha builds. Yeah. Or or did they know, like, you know, day one, okay, well, this is going to be the, a bad the game. The other thing about Sonic Boom, though, was that it was... It's the last Sonic game that was basically going to to be on a Nintendo console. Right, a, a Nintendo exclusive, I think, or... Yeah, well, it was through the... Whatever contract that they had with Nintendo at right, the time. Right, to have six exclusives. Yeah, which is a until, lot of Sonic games. Which was basically when fucking Nintendo was bailing Sega out of their, like, right. leaving whatever the fuck they did. Yeah. Well, and actually, come to think of it, so in this case, we do know, right? In this case, we do know they knew they were going to work on a crappy Sonic game because the last four or five Sonic games were horrible. So so by then, they, they knew from the start, like, oh, I'm on the Sonic team. Uh, you know? Yeah. Honey, I'm going to be half-assing it for the next, you know, 18 months. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, but by contrast, the fucking Sonic Boom show is goddamn fucking good. Can I can I mention how well you're playing this game while carrying on a conversation? Uh, yeah, it's like I've gotten yeah. better since, like, the 
like nine months ago that this aired. Yeah, but you're like just you're nonchalantly like, going and doing this stuff, and I'm I'm fully invested in our conversation and looking at Rouge's uh, bat wings. There. Yeah, that's what we'll call them. Well, she doesn't have much of a butt, right? It's all up front. Well, I mean, I'm trying to get her to look. <laughs> it's it's hard to get Turn a good camera for us. angle. Come on. I mean, she's, she's kind of got, like, a butt. Uh, yeah, but... I, I mean, mean, if we went into one of the Chow Gardens, which maybe we can do between episodes or something. <laughs> so I can ogle Rouge. So, so you can see just, like, the level of bat butt. How is Rouge spelled? Is it spelled it rogue? It's spelled rogue wrong. But that's the correct way to spell Rouge, right? Like, correct. it's R-O-U-G-E? Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, you, you got it. No? That's um, oh, in there. Just, just keep digging, girl. Just keep reaching. You'll get it eventually. Could it be in the wall? It might be. It probably is. Just keep going, girl. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh it's on the skull. Good. It feels so good. Keep no? making those moans while you help me out there, girl. Oh, there's another skull. Could be on that one. I don't know. Well, you'll find it eventually. That's, that's kind of arbitrary. Yeah. Hang on. Let me... Where does it go? Yellow? Okay. Maybe there. Could be. No. Wow, this is uh arbitrary. Yeah, my like I, I I got disgusted with my own joke and how crass it was in the time that you've been searching for this thing. <laughs> where where is it, Rouge? Um Don't you wish she had a bomb or something? Well, in in her words, it's gotta be close. Yeah. <laughs> We're definitely getting there. Do I need to go see one of the fucking stupid TV machines? Oh, it's got to tell you, like, more specifically? Skulls. skulls facing each other. So maybe it's in between where the skulls face? Uh, like, maybe it's halfway in between? Like, right there at the top of that wall? Yeah, probably. Hey, yep. we got it. All right, we'll see you guys next time on The Branch. Yeah, next time. Next time.